Hey everybody, welcome back to the shop. So this is just a quick video to wrap up a loose end. So three months ago we were working on this uh, four jaw chuck, trying to get it squared away and, and, uh, and working properly. Uh, where we had left off is we had reground the D1 taper in the back um, and took some measurements and so forth. We were getting close. So since that last video, I've done some touch-up grinding on the, on the D1 taper in the back, just a little bit, it wasn't that far out. And I've indicated the, the face of the chuck body in, and it's running nice and true, or within a half a thousandth, so measuring the face. And then on the body, it's a couple thousandths on the body, it's not real true. Um, because there's some deviation in, in, in the uh, casting, it moved a little bit. Uh, the slideways for the jaws are running nice and true. So that just left us the jaws themselves. And we did some measurements back then and the, the jaws were terrible. <laughs> so uh, knowing that the body is good and, and running true, the only thing left was to regrind the jaws. And I've done that already. Um, I didn't film a lot of that, um, but I do have some footage and we'll, we'll go ahead and plug that in. So we'll take a look at that footage and then when we come back, we'll take a look at how it runs now. Okay, let's have a look. Okay, well that cleaned it up. So I'm going to face this off so we have a square edge and then we'll put a little chamfer on there. Well, that actually cleaned up pretty good, so let's see if we can set it up again. Okay, I'm doing this handheld, so bear with me. Um, so our ring here that we're using, the internal ID is, we've trued that up, and I have just light pressure on the jaws, because I don't want to distort the ring. So I've got an um, internal indicator set up here. So we can sweep the inside of the ring. And then I've got another indicator back here. You can, it's hard to see, but it's, it's sweeping the jaws on the second uh, serration. Okay. Let me show you what I got. So we're on zero and everything right here. So let's advance to the next jaw. Okay. And you have to kind of move this around right there. So that's about plus two on the inside, and we're still at zero here on the outside. Let's go to the next one. Still zero here, and that's that is live. Okay. And then look at our inside. That's what, 12, 13, 13 thousandths difference. Let's go to the next one. Still zero out here. We're not even touching on this one. So these jaws are really inconsistent. At least I think they're really inconsistent. So I was hoping to grind all these in one operation, but wow, I don't know now. <laughs> all right, I got to think about this. 
All right, I've decided to do it this way. I mean, it's an independent four jaw, so if the inner and outer surfaces are slightly different, shouldn't matter, right? So what I've done is I've had to add some paper shims, copper shims, to try to get the actual internal part of the jaws to match up. So if we look at our indicator, we've got to go by the lowest spot. Okay, so that's... About 24 and a half. Maybe 26, maybe 25 and a half. Call that one 25. And back to where we started. So that's close enough. So what I'm going to do is blue these guys up. And then uh, we'll go ahead and regrind them. And I've also been trying to keep the uh, amount of tension or pressure on the jaws to minimum so we don't distort as bad. Checking progress. Zoom in just a little bit here. Okay, so we're set up at a little, slightly different radius than the original factory grind. So you know, it's, it's requiring that we take more out. This one here is pretty even, but check check out the other ones. So this one is high on the right side. This one here is pretty even. It's almost completely cleaned up. A little bit left on the left side there. And then this one, it's got quite a bit, see if I can find a spot where you guys can see, maybe over here. It's got quite a bit left on the, uh, on the left side. And then back to the one we started. So I'm gonna keep going. It's just taking some time because we've got to you know, establish a new radius and, and uh, get rid of these weird um, non, um, oh, what the, what's the word I'm looking for? <laughs> non-symmetrical. we got some non-symmetrical uh, features here. Well, that's taken an incredible amount of grinding. But I think we're going to call it good enough. This one jaw, you can see I've been adding paper shims <laughs> to bring that jaw in a little closer. Um, and it's not very symmetrical um, on the edge. These uh, these angle parts they're not they're not centered to the to the jaw. So I, I I mean I've been grinding and grinding and grinding, and I can't get that last couple spots in the back there to clean up. But I think I'm just going to try it like this and see how it works. I mean, most of the time you're probably going to have packing anyway, so you have some leeway or some give. All right, now I got to clean up this mess and uh, we'll give it a try. All right, I got our same piece of uh, chrome bar in here, and I've already indicated it in. We're running. I'm going to say that's just a hair under a thou. Okay, so now. This is where things went sideways before when we swept along. And she's looking pretty good. Let's see how it's running out here. Same thing. About a one thou. Actually it's even it's less. That's more like a half a thou. And it's pretty consistent. I'm going to call that a win. I mean, for what I do and the accuracy that I need, that's perfectly good. All right, 
I'm liking that. Um, yeah, so that kind of wraps up the saga with this four jaw chuck. Um, and like others had mentioned, it would have been way cheaper money and labor time ahead just to buy a, a different chuck, better quality. Um, but it was a good learning process. Uh, you know, we learned um, some different grinding techniques, um, learned what to look for and so forth. So um, it was a, a, a good, uh, you know, a good exercise to go through this. Uh, I still got to do these other surfaces, you know, flip the jaws around and regrind all these. I'll do that off camera and I'll probably do it as I need to use those. Um, you know, that's, that's a lot of surfaces to regrind, uh, but uh, we'll get them eventually. All right, well, thanks everybody for um, sticking with this project. It was pretty monotonous. All right, we will catch you guys later. Thanks a lot. See you later.